Hello, I'm Michael Carter, and this is my podcast. When I was thinking about what I wanted to do this podcast on, I was thinking about doing it on something that was important to me. So I asked myself what truly was important to me. And I came to the conclusion that lately I've been trying to become a better person. I've been trying to see what specifically constitutes good versus bad in the moral sense, just versus unjust, and so forth. And what sparked that curiosity in me to find what was, or how to be a better person, has been the arts. And that covers, in my mind, three specifics being art itself, painting, sculptures, what have you, music, and literature. Now I look at these three things because they're all embodiments of personal feelings that those individuals who created them brought forth. For example, blues, everyone under knows that is about those sad and sorrowful moments that you have, and it's kind of a lament to those better times. Or paintings, you can obviously see the emotions that those individual paintbrushes collectively created in the faces of the characters. Now, in literature, authors can be more specific, and I think that's why, in order to become a better person, and to find find out and discover what constitutes good morals. You look at the people who can most specifically and most precisely explain to you feelings that you've had in situations that you've just never looked at before and never put those specific words to. When reading books like Hemingway or Camus, Kafka, Dostoevsky, any of those big names, you realize why they're such big names. They're able to describe you and all these feelings that other people must have in a way that makes you understand them completely. You can see just how precisely someone would feel in that situation that they produce in whatever the plot is. And through that, you can help understand that it's not just you who would feel those things, it's everyone else in the world has the possibility of feeling those things as well. You can feel whatever you want to feel in any situation. No situation has a definite reality because of these people being able to show you all these different ideas. Now, when it comes to the specific becoming of a better person, looking at these different ways that people have felt and expressed themselves is the first step to becoming a better person. By being able to be empathetic to any situation, you can then understand why certain things happen, and you accept them without much trouble at all. Now, once you have become empathetic in this way, you can start to understand exactly why someone would be offended by certain things, what specifically would be deemed a transgression or hurtful or, in this context, unjust or unmoral. Once you understand what would hurt another person and why it would be harmful to them and why you wouldn't want that to happen to you, you can start making moves against it. You can become a better person by knowing what hurts others and working against recreating those situations. Now, by being able to be exposed by so many situations that can be written so specifically, plots are endless. 
you can create a story about anything. And good writers are all over the world and they've been around forever. So by being more well-versed in great literatures, great musics, great arts, great paintings, one can be able to start forming their ideas about what it is to be moral. And hopefully, through doing so, they can all become better at creating a more peaceful world and a more moral world. And that's why I believe that the arts in their current state of defunding and just being kind of put on the back burner compared to more substantive here and now types of fields like math and science, I believe that could be very detrimental to us in the long run. I mean, the more intelligent groups of people in the world came from people who read these old texts. The Age of Enlightenment was one of the times that we had our most intelligent people on this planet. And I believe that through the implementation of increased efforts in the arts, we have the chance of creating a second enlightenment. It would be called something else completely, or maybe we'd be unoriginal enough to call it the second enlightenment. But the long of short, the long and short of it is that we just need to become better people. And the way to do that, I believe, is through these arts.